Well, hello, friends. And I make a lot of meatloaf. I've got a few videos on meatloaf that I have made. Um, for my husband's truck, he loves the meatloaf. But he also likes the meatloaf burgers that I put together for him. And he can just make them right up in his air fryer. So I'm going to show you. I put that together just like meatloaf. And then I just freeze the patties and I package them and send them right with them. So this is kind of a quick looking chit chat video. And we're going to make these meatloaf patties. Now I'm only using, um, you, you can use as much as you want. You can make as many as you want. But you know, I'm just going to use a pound of beef. And I've got a, a nice pound of ground sirloin in there. So it's going to be wonderful. And I may need to add a little milk. So I'm going to get my milk out just in case. So with this, now you all know that my husband doesn't eat a whole lot of onions. Normally I would put, you know, fresh chopped onions in him. But with him, he doesn't eat a whole lot of onions. So I always use a little bit of my dehydrated onions. And what's nice about this is I don't have to uh, season it so much because the stuffing pack is already seasoned beautifully. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to crack an egg in here. only need one egg. I got one pound of meat. Instead of the stuffing, if you like, you can use the, um, you can use oatmeal and when I would do it that way, just so you know, sometimes I'd make it with oatmeal and then I'd put a package of onion soup mix in there to season it. And that turns out fantastic as well. So I'm going to put a little handful of my onions and I'm going to kind of crush them up. I don't want too many in there, maybe just a couple more in there. I just want the nice onion flavor in there because he does like onion flavor. It's just too much onions, and it doesn't agree with them, so we don't want to do that to him. He's a good man, and we take good care of him. He likes pepper. We're going to put a nice amount of pepper in here. I don't need to put anything else. A little salt. A little salt, and that's it. There we are. Now, I'm going to take my ring off also going to pour about a quarter cup of milk. Maybe just a scant quarter cup of milk in here. Just to have a little bit of extra moisture in here. Okay. We're just going to get our fingers right in here and get them dirty. There we go. I got my nice tray down here on my stove. You can't see it yet. Well, you can add mushrooms to this. The sky's the limit with this, you know. But my husband loves it this way. And this is the way I'm doing. I like cutting a little bit of peppers and onions nice and just dice them real fine. Almost shred them, you know, or grate them. And they're good in here too. And that's a good way to get veggies in your kids or your family. Look at there. We don't want that all over. So you can, you can incorporate some veggies in here, you know, real fine diced. Or you can do it quite plain. Your choice. Okay. There we go. We got them. That is nice. Beautiful. Okay. I've got this in a nice ball. And I'm going to make four nice burgers out of this. So here we go. These are gorgeous. And then he can put, put these. Because he does got a freezer in his truck. So when I make these... Um, he could cook these in his air fryer. 
put a slice of cheese on him, and, oh, he'll just think he's at home. That's love from home. See that patty? That's how they turn on ice. I'm just laying it on my, too much in there. I'm just laying it on my tray. I'll show it to you when I get them all patted up. And those of you who have never tried a stuffing mix in with a meatloaf, oh my gosh, you'd love it. It is absolutely fantastic. There's another one, number two. Now we're going to take a little bit out of here. Yeah, we want these two pretty, pretty close in size. I'm going to just run my thumb around it and make it nice and round and even. Beautiful. These are nice, nice patty burgers. And then I flash freeze them. Okay, let's see. This is our last one. I don't like cooking these beforehand and then freezing them because they get dry. And nobody wants a dry burger. That's just not good. So I have found the best way to do these is put it all together, patty them up uncooked, freeze them, and then take them out and cook them. Okay, let me shine the camera down here. There you go. You see them four beautiful patties? Those are going to go into the freezer. They're going to flash freeze, and when they're done, I'm just going to package them up and send them with him in his truck. So there you have it, friends. That's how easy it is to put together a meatloaf patty for the freezer. You all have a good day, and thanks for watching.